Let us now begin with module 6 airside hazards. In this module you shall learn about the different types of airside hazards. What is a hazard? A hazard is a condition or situation that could result in or contribute to an undesirable outcome. While working on airside we have to deal with aircraft hazards, other airside hazards, accidents at the airside occur due to aircraft hazards like engine hazards parts of the aircrafts like propeller and antennae let us understand each of them in brief let us take a look at engine hazards the most significant engine hazards are jet blast and jet intake jet intake and jet blast both can cause severe damage and danger to surrounding equipment property and life when in close contact Jet blast is caused by the exhaust from a jet engine and is one of the most dangerous aspects of the jet aircraft. If you get too close to the engine, you could get burnt by the hot exhaust, blown over by the strong winds, suffer eye or respiratory irritation from the gases, or be injured by flying debris. Jet intake creates a suction which is capable of pulling in FOD which is around the engine like nuts, bolts and unit load devices. Now, let's see what are FODs. FOD stands for foreign object debris and is a substance, debris or article alien to a vehicle or system which would potentially cause damage. FOD are objects that are found on the runway and taxiway such as baggage tags suitcase caster wheels plastic coffee cups tools nuts and bolts plastic bags aluminum cans plastic bottles construction material aircraft parts books pens or pencils mobile phones rocks or gravels think of the infamous air france flight 4590 concorde crash at paris in 2000 that was caused due to a tire being punctured by rolling over a piece of metallic runway debris the investigation confirmed that this tragedy was caused by fod fod costs the aerospace industry 4 billion dollars per year and causes expensive significant damage every year to aircraft and parts may also cause injury to workers pilots and passengers to prevent foreign object damage or debris that's fod all ground staff should follow some basic norms clear all fod another type of aircraft hazard is accidents caused by propellers and other parts of the aircraft some aircrafts are powered by propellers Aircraft with propellers pose a risk because the rotation of the propeller of an aircraft cannot be identified. In a noisy aircraft environment, it is difficult to hear what is going on. All ground staff should follow extreme caution when approaching towards the aircraft after the propellers have completely stopped moving. Never walk between the propellers even when it is stationary. All the protruding parts of an aircraft can present a safety hazard and can cause serious injuries. You must be very cautious when you are around these dangerous areas in the vicinity of the aircraft. Let us now take a look at non-aircraft hazards. There are several non-aircraft hazards on the ramp that could lead to accidents on airside. These include complacency, distractions and lack of awareness, lack of familiarity, experience and knowledge ignorance pressure lack of resources lack of teamwork some hazardous situations arise due to airside vehicle movement airside vehicles constitute an ever present hazard to both people and aircraft and extreme vigilance is necessary for all those working airside different types of vehicles and equipments are driven and operated on the apron The most common factors for vehicle accidents on ramp are failure to see, not following standard operating procedures, misjudgment or poor judgment, failure to follow safety rules, failure to follow traffic rules, poor discipline, 
defective maintenance, destruction. This brings us to the end of the sixth module, airside hazards. So, in this module we have learned the different types of aircraft hazards. Thank you.